Right, it's time to come out of hibernation and get back to business making trade land <laughs> videos. Nova or Blackwind? Let's go on good old Blackwind because that's where that's where the magic happens. Oh, my bone blaster from the last year. Nice. As usual, the of course Nars released crates. Time to get a payday. So let's see what is included this time round. 2024. Ooh, Brutus. I don't know what that is. Dead Man Scattergun. One in twenty. I bet that's a new blunder blaster. Cool. Expulsor. Sounds like something ranged. Um I think these are all ranged. Ripper, that's probably a bolt, something, bolt gun or something. Who, who knows? Actually, I don't know. If, I think these are all just. I don't think these are all ranged. I think this is just uh, the mix of the weapons that are available this time round. So, in addition to each weapon, each crate you buy has a chance of obtaining you a dead man's otter figureheads. Um, I think Dead Man's Otter, the Otter figurette is the big thing this time round. Um, Megalodon blueprint. We'll get onto this ship. This is the new ship <laughs> this year. Uh, we'll get onto that next. Um, Skeletone, Skeletone, Skeletone. Now, Skeletone is it's okay. It's Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. But it's there if you want some extra money. And for the materials, 9% chance of a common, 10% chance of at least one rare. Um, I'm guessing this is the list of rare materials. Um, materials in this crate change over time to match the materials of the latest available crate. I don't know what that means, whether that's in the next week couple weeks it would change materials I don't know but let's see what good ones these are all a bit mid they're all just aesthetics death metal's good um, holoconium looks nice if it's got a hol if it's a holy weapon so it's got a holoconium handle then you can use it in your house as lighting it's really bright um, that's it holy angel that's what you want magmite's good um, and Verd is good. And for the logs, I've got to buy just one or two or three to see what, some of the items, because why not? Ooh, oh, it gives you. Yes, so that's one of the new things um, with this update. Instead of when you buy crates, it now gives you the mystery crate itself. And you can keep this forever, and you can open it whenever you can trade it as well. Um, and these crates come in a nice little jar themed of the um, time you bought them. So let's give one <laughs> an open. Come on, give me your good luck, uh, Dead Man Scattergun. So that seems to, oh, that's a nice one. Inspect is that? Yes, a one in twenty. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, this obviously takes swivel gun ammo like the other um, shotgunny type of shots in the game. Let's open the rest because I'm sad. Sanctus. Wow. Oaken marble. It looks okay, honestly. I think there's now come to the point where there's so many different types of weapons in the game. Um, I kind of prefer it when there were only a few and you know, things were a bit more rare, but I guess if you're bringing out crates so often, holy crap, that's cool. <laughs> Mysterious E-Steel. Someone is going to want that. If you want it, hit me up. Because that, that, let's put it on my back. Because of that, it's sexy. I mean, yeah, there's, there's a little selection of what the different things look like. That's the Brutus, that's what the Sanctus, and then that's what the... <laughs> it's, it's massive, look at that thing. This looks kind of comically large, I'm not going to lie, but right. Obviously we've got the Halloween uh, themed 
map updates like this grass it's lovely uh autumny grass the trees every spawn island also has their lovely mallorca um Every island obviously has their Mallorca spawner. <laughs> this is where you come to fight it out to the death for bones, just like the past two years have been. This is nice to practice your PvP, to be honest. Why won't this guy die? Come on, man. God damn. So yeah, you get your standard doubloons and then you get your haunted bones. Very nice. This is PvP all by the way, so you can team kill on this island. You can't normally sail to this island. It is, in fact, an island that you can only teleport to. And this is this island's only available during the Halloween season. This geezer selling all of these wonderful new items. I particularly think these gargoyle candle holders, candle holders are all very nice. I want this thing, whatever it is probably expensive though the ones like last year which they're okay this is a nice holoconium pumpkin you've got your skeleton like the previous years so yeah they are recycling some some previous year stuff but there's a bunch of new stuff as well and just to the right there is of course the cave as there was in previous years and you can become the monster my camera's stuck bloody tray lands Bloody hell. You can become the monster through this. Let's become the monster if no one else is. Yo. Okay. Looks like uh, the monster is a Nova, Nova Navy man. This basically inc increases your health and damage uh, and also your size. So you become really big, really massive target. But you can kill pretty easily if, you know, if you're used to it. Because being this large with such a small sword can be problematic. And of course, at the top, we have the Skeleton Miner. Um, where you can claim and then you can collect your skeleton stone that it mines. The more people that are on the server, I believe, uh, means the quicker it will mine. So if you're, a, if you're on an empty server, then it will be slower, I believe. Just like the other auto miners. But yeah, same island as before, no changes here. At least it seems to be more and more every year, which is, I guess, good. And I believe if I leave, then yeah. I die. Cannot leave as the monster and go terrorize the Grand Isles. That would be very, very bad of me. That's what the scattergun looks like. And that is a Sanctus. I mean, you know, these aren't the most beautiful weapons I've seen, but they are weapons nonetheless. Is it worth the amount that the crates are? Maybe. Um, but you could get a Megalodon. This ship right here. This beautiful, it's, well, I say beautiful. it looks pretty good to be honest. Inside we have the engine and the helm. I would assume at the bow you get a heavy turret and then you get a medium turret. Or it might be the other way around considering the bow's a bit thinner. But either way, you get five swivel guns, which is pretty good for a clad to stop borders. Um, but I'll be honest, the armament, that armament is pretty poor. And 18,000 health is also really poor for an ironclad to like, come on, come on. And the speed of seven is also pretty poor. But what can you expect from an ironclad? It is one of the cheaper ones to make, only 750,000, uh, 2,000 iron. You will need the Megalodon blueprint, which does come in the new crates, but I don't think they'll sell for that much. So you, you should probably get one pretty cheaply because this isn't a great ship. And these crates is also available a dead man's otter figurehead, which I have not seen yet, but um, the otter is one of those older ships that has been in the game quite a long time. Now, from Cove, I'm going to sail to Freeport, which is here, which is where you can buy yourself the Halloween ghost ships. Let's go see what you can get this year. This guy's a pigeon. That's cool. Wagwan. Nice pigeon. No problem. Cheers, mate. 
Right, so this year we have black ghost ship vouchers. That's cool. I mean, that's a cool color for them, to be honest. So they're quite pricey, and they have been quite pricey. But let's see what ships we can get this year. So this year we, get, we can get the ghost fang. You can get the ghost weasel. You can get the beaver, the otter, the mongoose, the phoenix, the concord, the alliance, and the covenant. That's a big selection compared to what we've had for previous years. The colour and the wood type of your ghost ship is completely randomly determined. If it's ghostly, it'll be ash, and the, the colour during night will be white. Um, if it's ghastly, it'll be green and it'll be grime wood. If it's ghoulish, it'll be ironwood and light blue. If it's spooky, it'll be ebony and dark blue. That's the one you want. If it's spectral, it'll be magenta and it'll be oak and yon and oak during the day. If it's demonic, it'll be blood oak and it'll be red. And if it's hallowed, it'll be angelwood and it'll be gold. It's completely random, so if you don't like the colour, then tough. That's what you're stuck with if you just wasted a ton of Robux. For example, if I spawn my own ghost ship, aka my Kirin, ghostly Kirin, I personally made the wood from ash to angel wood using the ghost ship hull plans which is something you can purchase for 10 loyalty tokens and then using an amount of wood you can change the the wood of the ship but how does this update stack up to previous years i don't think the updates nowadays really do in terms of crates because crates used to be a lot cooler you used to get katanas you used to get those things but it's good that the katanas are kept rare but maybe i'm just too into my inyolan things but it's nice to get some new damage effects glowies to stock yourself up for combat. It's a shame there's not a ship to buy with the bones this year. Because uh, in previous years there have been ships to buy. And like previous years, and this is the fourth year, there is <laughs> there have been a few Halloween costume competitions and ugly ship competition. But I'll definitely be attending one of them to see if I can get another prize. And the last change this year that I think is really interesting is that the Halloween reward items for killing the Takana have been replaced by Halloween themed versions. But yeah, that's my thoughts and basically review on this update. Thank you for your completely divided attention and hopefully there'll be more better, more, more updates like this, more cool updates. Yeah, 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 no. I do know that the map rework is coming along and I'll be taking a look at that because that's really, really cool stuff in there. I can't wait for that update to come out either. But anyway, that was my perspective on how I like this update. I think NAR could have added, done something better or should maybe add something for next year. Then you should let me know in the comments and hopefully it will come true because wishes come true in my comments, that's definitely for sure. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you around.